subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Tropical storm Dolores made landfall earlier today in Mexico by our analysis as a hurricane with winds of 75 miles per hour. This is still a significant threat to Mexico as heavy rainfall and some strong gusty winds are still possible. We still have it with 60 miles per hour winds or 95 kilometers per hour with a pressure of 993 millibars and it's moving north northwest at 14 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour and it has gone up in CDPS now stage four winds are coming down now low to moderate still they were a bit higher uh, earlier when we of course had a hurricane the storm size is slightly higher uh, and the rainfall is still the major threat overall threat is now moderate Stage 4 means that extensive damage is possible right now. You saw those locations at the top of your screen. The current wind fields, it's got all quadrants having tropical storm force winds now. 70 nautical miles for the entire northern quadrant, 80 for the southeast, and 50 for the southwest. Here's the current uh, distances. It is currently 71 miles, or 115 kilometers from Ameca. 98 miles, or 157 kilometers from Puerto Vallarta. 141 miles or 226 kilometers from Tepic, 152 miles or 244 kilometers from San Blas, and 310 miles or 499 kilometers from Durango. And we do have tropical storm warnings and tropical storm watches still in effect. The locations are listed at the bottom of your screen. So we are not done yet with Dolores. The intensity estimate spread, we've got AMSU down at 45 miles per hour. 413 in the NHC are still thinking 60 miles per hour, and SATCON is all the way up there, sitting at 70 miles per hour. Here's the current National Hurricane Center forecast cone. Uh, not much of a cone to show here. We do have, just still have those tropical storm warnings and watches in effect, as you can see on that graphic. Uh, expected to really rapidly weaken, continue rapid weakening, uh, I should say, um, as it has done since it made landfall this morning. Um, but you can see dissipated by tomorrow morning so the mountains are really going to kill off this storm however rainfall is still a big factor uh, for this system and that's why we've got a stage 4 rating now on CDPS most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds chances are going down this is a bit outdated uh, you know, the chances go down now as it is rapidly weakening I wouldn't be surprised if in the next advisory from the National Hurricane Center it's below 60 miles per hour Key messages, do pause the video if you would like to read these, these are very uh, important to read, and I'm not sure, I could not find a Spanish version, but maybe there is one if you do some digging on hurricanes.gov. The current sea surface temperatures are not really a matter right now for the storm, as it's moved inland and it won't be moving offshore again. Uh, it's leaving behind though, 29, 30 degrees Celsius water, it's very warm in the eastern Pacific. Along, Mexican, along the Mexican coastline, so it is definitely possible if another storm forms with the right conditions, it could uh, intensify. HWRF wind swath and rain swath, it is a bit outdated, but you can see heavy rainfall expected in the tropical storm force winds moving inland uh, on the wind graphic. Multiple diagnostic comparison, pretty much every model here showing for the future uh, in downtrend as you'd expect, as it has made landfall. Wind shear is now on a rise, rising trend, which will only contribute more to the weakening trend of Dolores. Sea surface temperatures, they're dropping off now as it, has, it is over land and mid-level relative humidity. Another factor, you know, helping it uh, weaken over land, it's on a significant downtrend. Here's the close-up true color imagery of Dolores as it has made landfall today. Uh, our estimates has it has it uh, as a hurricane at landfall, 75 miles per hour on that. Here's visible zoomed out imagery. You can see the influence of uh, tropical storm Dolores. It's, it's it's widespread, and the main threats from now on are mainly some storm surge still on the along the coastline, but that threat will be going down as the storm winds go down. But we're also looking at significant rainfall in the inland areas.